Hey Marvel fans, welcome back to our channel. Today we are diving into the breakdown of Marvel's What If Season 2 Episode 8, a trip back to 1602. Now let's get into the cosmic details of this episode. The episode opens with Loki reciting Shakespeare's Hamlet at the Globe Theatre in 1602. We explore the significance of Loki performing this solo coolly and how it ties into the broader theme of existential struggle for Marvel heroes in this dying year universe. We uncover the alternate timeline twist, revealing that Steve Rogers ruptured the time stone during Infinity War, leading to Avengers being transported to 1602. Comparisons to the Marvel 1602 comics are made and we discuss how this deviation sets up the unique events in this episode. Captain Peggy Carter takes the spotlight as she navigates the altered 1602 reality. We delve into her role as a fugitive, her encounters with feminine Familiar faces like King Thor and Sir Fury, and the mysterious monster in the Iron Mask revealed to be Bruce Banner. The forerunner is finally revealed as Steve Rogers, leading to a captivating reimagining of the Battle of Wakanda from Infinity War. We explore the symbolism behind the green color, the frozen heroes, and the connection to the damaged time stone causing this cosmic aberration. We examine the significance of the 1602 setting, suggesting that Loki, the god of stories, in Influence the displacement of Marvel heroes to the era of William Shakespeare. The episode is interrupted as a homage to the history of storytelling, connecting it to the ongoing Loki finale. The episode concludes with a teaser for the finale, hinting at Strange Supreme's intervention. While there are potential impact on Captain Carter's story and the intriguing to be continued message, leaving us eager for tomorrow's that means the next finale. Episode 9. That's it for this episode. Stay tuned for more upcoming episodes. Episodes and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't for more updates and do like this if you are a fan of what if season 2